Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play Unravel. So, I, I forgot the... I forgot Mountain Trek. Like, I forgot an entire level of this game. So, this is actually like the fourth level or something. But this is the one that has all the gophers in it and stuff. The gophers in it and such. And, <laughs> I made it through this level without dying and died at the last possible place. We'll talk about that when we get there. But, uh, this level has one hard thing in it, right? And it's the gopher chase. The gopher chase is really rough because that gopher's right on your butt the whole time. He's a horrible gopher. Otherwise, I mean this is a this is a pretty relaxed level. And there's obviously a lot of stuff that you would pay attention to if you were looking for secrets. But since we're not, we're just trying to get through. It's a nice straight line. But, uh, things like this, you probably don't want to drop that on yourself. Probably kill you. Although I've never died that way. I am assuming it is possible. Alright, so here's our first gopher encounter. I always run past this and then have to go back. So, that's how you die to a gopher. Don't die to any gophers. I don't know if that I don't know if that is in fact supposed to be a gopher or a shrew or I guess I would need to know more about the scale of Yarny. Although, Yarny seems to be, in the last cutscene, like, larger than the width of a human hand, so... But a child's hand, so maybe the width of my hand? Which means that could be anything. It could be a mole, it could be a... I mean... Although moles are, like, blind, right? Have, like, those weird noses. So, it's probably a gopher. It looks like the puppet from Caddyshack, so... Alright, so if this happens to you, it's okay. <laughs> like, you could fall down here as much as you want. The consequences are not that high. They seem high, but they're not. I mean, I guess the stakes aren't that high. The consequences are not that dire. There we go. There we go. Those are the words that I'm looking for to put in the order that I need to put them in so that they have the meanings that I want. I do love the music for the whole gopher thing. It just goes on a little longer than it has to. K. 
Okay, so this time... Yeah, it's nice. The music has like there's this there's this rusting kind of bit of the music, and then when exciting things happen, it could pick up into the main. I mean, it really is built in a very interesting way. I also realized that what you're hooking on this fish is a, a lure that's stuck to the fish, which is kind of sad. So I guess I don't blame it for, like, hitting us with its tail. That lure cannot be the most comfortable thing in the world. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, it's like the music never quite quite quits. It's like turned into a tone in the background. I mean, I guess it quit there. But it's gonna start right back up, like, here. Yeah, it's very good. I mean, like, what it's doing for mood, it does so well. This game really does a great job with kind of mood and environment. Ambiance. Alright, so the most important thing about this, I mean, aside from not getting slowed down by the water, is the jump at the end. Is make sure you jump at the end. There's not a swing at the end, there's just a jump. There we go. And that's how we survived. Now, I did this entire level at least once because, like I said, I know I died at the last possible moment. And we'll go over when that was. It was super disappointing. But, but of course it is. But you know, if you're going to die in the last possible, uh, like, deaths, like, death event in a level, better this one than, um, how much is enough. Because, man, if you die at the last possible moment in that level, you have to do the electricity jump again, you have to do the... You have to do the cockroach room, you have to... You have to do the zappy death machine or whatever it's called. And I actually think I almost died, like I, I did something here that I thought was almost going to result in a death. It looked really funny. I do like the way this particular part of the level is set up. But I worry about that thing rolling over me. It probably can't. Because it's an item you can push. But I have been killed by items I was pushing before, so. So that happened. And, like, instantaneously I was terrified. I was just like, I died! And, like, it didn't happen. But, yeah. So if you try to grab onto that while it's rolling, that can happen. So don't do that. <laughs> like, I just want it to stay still! There we go. Because you got to be able to push it down far enough to climb over it. Right, so this is not far enough. But we did barely make it, and I'll take that. It would be weird to be walking in the woods and see this kind of stuff. Like, the, what, what, the stuff Yarny is leaving behind. Because you would notice it. Alright, 
plastic bag is pretty much our ticket to freedom. There again, there's only one spot you can die in after this. And it's here. Don't pull the log door uh, down on top of you. That's what I did. I, I opened this door and it fell right on top of me and killed me. I suppose the logs rolling over you is the last possible place you can die. So there we go. That's essentially the level over. In fact, it is completely the level over. So can you believe I died at that log door? It was horrible. Horrible. So we have one more level to do, and that is Rust. So I will see you for that. Bye, everybody.